Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. We have been discussing about all the latest features introduced into this uh, Tosca version 2024 and above. Now we have been discussing about some of the features uh, which are available in Tosca Copilot or these are also known as skills of uh, the AI assistant which is known as the Copilot. So let's move on to uh, the next skill of uh, Tosca Copilot or the feature which uh, it provides uh, using which you can actually do a lot of things. So uh, let's move on to our workspace which uh, we have been working on. And then let's uh, launch our Tosca Copilot. We know it is in the add-on section. So we'll launch it here. So we have discussed uh, about uh, all the three skills for Tosca Copilot, which is explaining test case, uh, getting execution insights, or converting natural language to TQL. So we have seen all these features. Now we are going to look at the generic one, which is ask about Tosca. Now, there are some common prompts here, like what is scanning, what is a module, uh, how to create test case, uh, what is a test case. All of this uh, can be done from here, right from the suggestions. But apart from this basic prompts, uh, you can actually do a lot more. So I prepared a list of five different uh, prompts which you can actually enter into this Tosca Copilot and it will give you um, all the required information through which you can resolve um, either uh, there is an information gap or uh, you are not able to find something. So rather than going into Google and searching for these uh, questions or um, even asking me uh, about these questions, you can directly ask Tosca Copilot. So these are some of the live questions uh, which have been posted uh, in our channel. And um, I can very well answer these questions, but I can also use Tosca Copilot to answer it for me. So let's see uh, what are these questions. These are a selection of uh, very simple queries um, and also very complex ones. Okay. So uh, first one is where is the buffer viewer? Okay. So if you are not able to find any particular component or any particular section in your Tosca, you can even ask Copilot to uh, guide you so that you can navigate to that particular section. So if you don't know where is the buffer viewer, then you can ask Tosca Copilot uh, to show where exactly it is, right? So let's see uh, what the Copilot uh, tells us. So it is telling us that uh, the buffer viewer can be accessed by clicking uh, the icon in the tools menu of Tosca Commander. And uh, it is also providing us uh, a reference link to how to use the buffer viewer, okay? So that uh, was a very simple one. Now moving on to some of the scenario based uh, queries. So how can we handle dynamic pop-ups uh, which disappear after some time, maybe a couple of seconds? So how can you do this? Now, there is also some configuration required for this outside of Tosca. So let's see uh, what the copilot uh, tells us how we can resolve this particular problem. So it tells us uh, what we can do. So we have to go to uh, the browser developer tools. We have to then put this particular code uh, which will allow uh, the pop-up to be interactable before it disappears and then we can go ahead and scan it and um, move forward with our automation right and there are also some uh, knowledge based articles which it provides so there you can find more information if this is not enough now uh, coming to the next one is a specific uh, error related to uh, automation of SAP application. So this kind of exception occurs and then uh, you don't know what to do. Then you can ask Copilot uh, to look into it and tell more about the information or the exception uh, which Tosca is throwing and how can we handle this, right? So here you can see uh, it is telling us uh, the steps uh, in order to resolve this particular issue. So it is mostly related uh, to the SAP GUI version or uh, the bit version which we use. Okay, so for Tosca 2023 2.2 and above, we need to um, use the 64-bit version because it has been fixed for that. But 
uh, prior to all of these versions, we need to use the 32-bit version. So when we try to use the 64-bit version, then uh, this uh, exception generally occurs. Okay, so this is um, how you can uh, resolve this particular problem. It also tells you uh, if you have got an incompatible version, you can uninstall and install it again. Okay, and then there are knowledge references as always. Then uh, I also found this question. So how to resolve this error? It's a very common issue uh, in Tosca. So when there are multiple tabs opened um, and your test fails uh, with no matching tab uh, found for this particular title because there are multiple tabs open in the browser, right? So let's see how uh, Copilot tells us to resolve this particular issue. Okay, so uh, Copilot is uh, actually providing us a number of different uh, solutions and problems uh, it might be related to. So uh, you can check if the tab is open, then um, you can verify the title. You can use regex if necessary. You can also check the browser configuration and uh, the tab is loaded, right? So there are also several knowledge articles uh, linked to this. So you don't need to actually go into the Tosca support website and search uh, for a particular information because there is a lot of information there. And Copilot is actually uh, giving us a very easy and very fast way of navigating to this knowledge articles. Then uh, the final one is related to a date expression. Again, a very frequent question. So I thought of including this here. So what will be the expression for adding two months to the current date, how you will write the expression. So Copilot can write it for you. Okay, so this is the expression. This is the date expression. And then you add the two months uh, to this particular expression. So it will add two months to the current date. Okay, and then there are references as well. So these were uh, all the five queries uh, which um, I wanted to show in this particular session so that you get an idea of uh, the complexity um, of the queries which uh, Copilot can resolve for you. It can basically provide information on any particular section uh, within Tosca. Also, um, it can look at all of your uh, test cases, your modules, any object uh, within Tosca and then provide more information on that. It can also look at solutions uh, to common issues or complex problems uh, which occur inside Tosca. So it's a single uh, knowledge base where you can find all your answers. You don't need to go to different places in order to find a particular problem or you, you don't even need to go to the Tosca support website or the Tosca support team um, to look for any particular uh, answer to specific or common issues. Uh, but you can first check uh, with Tosca Copilot and then if you don't find it, you can obviously uh, look for other sources of information. But uh, if you have got Copilot, then this could be the single source of information for all your problems um, or all your queries related to Tosca. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.